What about the guys? What are the contestants like that come in there? Is there they're a scared. Race? They walk out yeah. pretty scared because, you know. You some are, but Jamie, though. Jamie wasn't scared. Yeah, there are some wild ones, but in, yeah. in general, they're kind of, they, they can see the fear in their eyes when they walk out and see these girls. And the girls are brutal straight away. Yeah. Um, but they're brave guys because it's quite, it can be humiliating for mm. some because you get some guys straight away who might have like two girls in their queue and it's quite embarrassing for the guys. So. Well, it's awful when yeah. everyone's in their queue, they go, they have the selfie and it's like their six pack and everyone goes in their line. Then the boys come out and reveal themselves and the girls go, oh, and all move. So oh. they, the guy, this guy stood there with no yeah. one in his queue. Yeah. And that, I think, as a man, as a macho mm. thing, it's a bit of an yeah. ego loss, isn't it? It would hurt. It would definitely yeah, yeah. hurt. But it makes the show so special. Yeah. Do you think that people can find true love on Stand By Your Man? No. Well, having said that, there's quite a few people that are still dating and have met the parents. They're just having sex. No, no, people have met the parents. No one's going to get married off the show. They're all going to have sex and no one's going to get married. It's they, not true love because it's all about They said they want sex. you to sing Flying Without Wings if they... they you've got to go to the first Stand By Your Man wedding and sing that Flying Without no Wings. no problem. I guarantee you that won't happen. happen. No, there's never going to be a wedding because they're all just sex mad. They all oh. want to have sex with No, but some of them have met parents. 50 quid says no, no one ever gets married. I'm not saying... The 50 quid bet. No, no. Take the bet, Jackson. Use Put your money where that massive mouth is. Come on. <laughs> see? No one's ever going to get married in this show. We'll see, we'll just see. Just lots of we'll sex. See, we'll you see. never know, there could be a wedding. Okay. And then Wait we'll till you see the thing. show. No one's getting <laughs> married. <laughs> okay, and They're just going to have a lot of sex. Talking about dating in general, what do you guys think about who should pay on the first date? The woman or the man? Um, I we know we just get the ITV to pay for it. We go out. <laughs> well, I, um, I'm quite traditional, actually. If I met someone for the first time mm. and he invited me for dinner, I'd expect him to offer. Yeah. Whether he paid or not, I think it'd be quite, I'm quite old-fashioned. Mm. It'd be nice for him to offer. If he, if he has invited me out, yeah. then he's not going to do what you do and you go, oh no, <laughs> yes. oh no, I th I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I think it's at home. Like, works, sure. <laughs> it works. <laughs> what do you think, do you agree? Or? I don't know. I, think, I suppose uh, yeah, like you can be that old-fashioned thing, but mm. I think the boys should should really pay. I know it's sexist to say the boys pay, but I think you should. I like old-fashioned as well. Yeah, me yeah. too. And what has been? Um, what is your ideal sort of date? If you were to have a perfect date, what would it entail? Just a sunny day in a park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, just yourself. <laughs> you and a book. Is that me, it. Me and Vogue. Uh, the, the the thing, not your girl. Oh, right. Okay, that's interesting. Sorry. That's new. My real wife and my on-screen wife. Um, uh, yeah, just something, just something casual. I don't like things that are too contrived or yeah. too showy. I think it's just nice just to get to know each other, really. To have a picnic. Yeah, a nice yeah. picnic. A nice M&S picnic. I love a, like a falafel, a bit of hummus. Yeah, I'm there. Do you know what a falafel is? It's like a Lebanese food or something, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, good. Am I supposed to be stupid and not know no, what a falafel is? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I just don't think that you, you seem like a man that's a carnivore, so you don't yeah. seem like a man that would ever. But I've only travelled the world for the last 15 years, so I wouldn't know what a falafel is.